2021, Joshua DeSonic and Mario Tuberboy 2008 was exposed for disrespecting Soviet Red Bull's late father who died of cancer. Joshua had 81,000 subscribers at the time, meaning who had a lot of subscribers, they barely comment on his videos, which makes people suspect he is using sub bots. Now let's get into this video. When he was 7 years old, he started his first YouTube video, but none of them was popular, so he eventually started making GoAnimate videos which became sorta popular. He then started making grounded videos, eventually he befriended Soviet Red Bull and some other people. On May 12, 2020, Joshua was exposed for plagiarizing a popular YouTuber, who goes by the name of Vittorio the Viander 2003. This was common from the GoAnimate community since the cough cough inspiration term was used as an excuse to copy and plagiarize people's video this was the day GoAnimators got their heads out of their asses. Let's go back on topic. Super Yoshi Animator made a video trying to get Joshua to know that he plagiarized Vittorio's video, but he did not listen and a drama started. Eventually Soviet Red Ball had enough and made a video about Joshua which was sadly private, but however a few days after the video, Joshua made an apology video with Soviet Red Ball and Jorn Alfot forgiving him even though they forgive him, they later called him out in the comments, saying they never forgive him, later finally, he was ignored for two days, until his second drama popped up. On August 2, 2020 Joshua was once again exposed, this time for stealing a user called CyanAnimate's avatar and changing the colors so it can be his avatar, and he tried claiming its inspiration when it isn't, then Red Dion said that Joshua uses subbots when it is obvious he does. Later he started saying more bullshit, he claimed Eric Anderson UTTP a cringy gonimator hacked him, when he didn't. Then he later claimed another user Lily UTTP made him do his actions when the user didn't. This just proves Joshua is a very scummy person who will blame people to get away. Eventually his drama stopped sometime in November 20th 20 where we finally forgave him. On September 28th 2021 Joshua was once again exposed, this time for disrespecting the dead which was fucked up. He called Soviet Red Ball's dead father stupid, which made him angry, as a result Joshua was exposed. And now my boy Soviet Red Ball wants to speak out against this asshole, but before we do subscribe to Soviet Red Ball, he's a good person unlike this asshole Joshua, now let's start. Yo what's good comrade and Soviet Red Bull here and I'm just going to be talking about Joshua Navarro and my experience with him for the past two years. So my experience with him began in like July 2020 when he just like commented on one of my YouTube videos asking me if I could be his little best friend and all that. So, and me being me I accepted it and relations were good until like somewhere around that time when he, when he just like plagiarized one from me. And that's kind of like how the entire conflict with me and him kind of like all began ever since these past two years. And since January 21, we had like a ceasefire and, be and relations started to get all good. And then the war was almost going to end. And then until he just insulted my dad in September 2021, after I two days after like came back on Discord and all that. And uh, which in that time, it was kind of like the main establishment of the KGB Republic. We, never, we didn't really like, begin talking about that until until we try to like cancel someone in the beyond community and yeah that's currently like how how I'm currently in, in this feud with Joshua so that's my part and back to Alaskan <laughs> Joshua Navarro is pretty much known for a lot of things, and being a criminal is definitely one of them. 
because he literally stole his mother's credit card to buy yearly Nitro slash Fortnite V-Bucks and got his parents' his credit card in debt. However, Alaskan told me that he was also the cause of why his parents moved out from their hometown. Because of Joshua, they had no choice but to move to Lima. Not to mention how he literally called Sophia Krusty Red Bull's father a stupid family member and claimed that it was his fault that his father died of cancer. I'm sorry that there's not much that I can talk about because by the time I'm making this is literally 9.30 o'clock and Alaskan doesn't want to premiere this video tomorrow. So I'm just going to leave it there. Back to you Alaskan is your boy. Thank you so much General Purple and Soviet Red Ball. Anyways back to my part. Joshua was also caught supporting a pedophile who sexually harassed an underage minor. He also jumps to conclusions all the time. Here is proof. Joshua, if you are watching this, you are an awful person. I regret being friends with you. How you disrespect Soviet Red Ball's dead father who died of cancer by calling him stupid disgusts me. I hope I never see or have to talk about you again. Anyways I would like to thank Soviet Red Ball and General Purple for helping me collab with the video. Anyways, goodbye, and I will see you later.